All right, Richard, getting a lot of questions. Alan from Wisconsin, David from Florida, and Bobby from Connecticut. Oh, I know Bobby. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> well, they all want to know when they go to sleep at night or when they're out of the house, do they save energy by changing their thermostats? Well, that's called temperature setback. And the short answer is yes. If I ask the building to be cooler during heating mode or warmer during air conditioning mode, I will save some energy. Now, there's a bunch of ways to do it. Here is a single thermostat where you manually turn it down or turn it up. You got to remember to do that. When yep, you leave. absolutely. Here's a clock thermostat here, a programmable one where you would set more than one temperatures up or down setting per day. Sure. And you can have them different days of the week. The funny thing about this, I got to tell you, is more than 50% of these clock thermostats that are purchased and put on the wall never get programmed. Right. You got to remember to program. I know that. Now here's a new offering here. This is actually a smart thermostat where it might sit on the wall and it might learn how you live in the building as a motion sensor That's and cool. it will allow you to communicate with a smartphone so now you could remotely program it or even tell it when you're coming home. I like that. Now to understand setback and why it works you have to understand building science. Okay. All right so here's my house. Now any house has got outside walls with insulation and has a given R value. That's the amount of heat that transfers through the wall to outside in the heating mode right. or through the wall into the building in cooling mode. Right. Now the amount of that transfer going back and forth will be a function of a thing called delta T, temperature difference. So around here we design in the heating mode for a temperature difference of 70. Sure. 70 degrees inside and zero degrees outside. Okay. Now if I turn that target temperature down to 60, now what happens is less heat will pass through this wall because there's less of a temperature difference. Makes sense. Okay? And that means if there's less transfer in this way, there's less energy I have to replace with my heating system and that saves energy. The Department of Energy will tell you that for every one degree we lower the temperature, target temperature, we'll save 1% fuel if we do it for eight hours. So in that example, that was 10% savings. Nothing to sneeze at. That's quite a savings. But I've heard people say that it actually costs more money to bring your house back up to temperature if you set your thermostat back. You read that too on the internet? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I set the building back, you got to have some energy to reheat the building. But it'll never be more energy to reheat the building than it was that I saved over that eight-hour period. Right. All right. They okay. do save energy. Now, there's some places where I won't use a clock thermostat. I've got, if I have an electric heat pump with an electric backup, you don't want to have that very expensive electric backup trying to recover, sure. okay, the meter really spends. The other thing is some of these super tight houses, they just don't lose enough energy for a clock yeah. thermostat to make They're sense. They're very efficient anyways. Right. And then radiant systems too. Radiant systems, if you put radiant into concrete slab, it takes a while for that slab to unload, it takes a while to reload, so you right. stay away from yeah, it. You don't want to do that. But that's not the case with most houses. Most houses have what? Really leaky ductwork. Windows. Bad windows, right? And, and insulation here, so it makes sense.